Hello, skewers and everybody out there in TV land. Welcome back to another Reality Skewed video, Reality Skewed Gamers video, as we continue on the saga of the 12 days of GAC and just like the 12 days of Christmas. Hey, here we are doing another team. And on the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me Ray. Yes, it's the GL Ray team. And we have used so many different variants of this team. We're going to talk about this. It's going to be a little bit longer video because we're going to talk about some stuff here with this beautiful beautiful big forehead woman uh and joining me as always on these videos we have the gac whisperer thane karala how's it going well hello there my friend it's like we just did this because <laughs> we did all right so the ray team gl ray boy you know thing she is the queen of gac defense there's no there's no the doubt about it. she is the queen <laughs> of d man i mean and, and, and uh she is quite amazing. We're going to talk about how we have her modded. We're talking about how we got all these characters modded. Now, for a lot of these teams, whether it be for offense or defense, we talk about it. You can use Ray for offense, right, Thing? Yes. Very, very successfully and very efficiently, yes. But we like her for defense because she is such a nightmare to deal with. That being said, we've used so many variants over the years with with this with, with this young lady. Uh, we've done it um, and in threes and fives, but we're mainly talking about fives. But man, how many times we changed the lineup on her so many times for? Uh, let's try to think about all the teams with her that we've used. We've used. <laughs> let's talk about. I mean, we used three tanks. We've, we've used her with cowgirls, yeah, girls, with tanks, with uh, resistance. Yeah. Uh, we did one team with uh with Bible first. <laughs> yeah, we did that once. We did uh I mean there's so many variants out there. It, and it's it's ever changing because Ray is one of those GLs that you especially for a lot of these characters, you can put her on this team and just make all kinds of crazy stuff work. Now you're seeing the variant that we are gonna be using for now, but that could change. Um but we've got the Ray Cat uh kenobi and the purse brothers team here and we're going to talk about this team because this is a team that we love 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 for offense so thing who would you on this fifth day of gac which character would you like to start off first for our modding and discussion we've got to talk about the big one right we got to talk about our girl right all right there she is in all her form ray not yet a skywalker um <laughs> so ray it's pretty much she is an incredible gl uh she, you know when it comes to gac she there's reasons why she is because i'm gonna think talk about it. why does ray work so well and when, then let's talk about her modding as well why is she so bloody damn good in gac defense where we get crazy holds with her because she hits hard, she makes the team survivable, and then there's not enough teams out there that are efficient enough to take her out quickly enough for her to, like, until she can actually just whack. Like, I mean, her whirlwind alone is going to almost guarantee whether you're bringing in, you know, and whoever you bring in, she's going to one-shot someone off the board if you're, if you're not careful. You know, just that whirlwind alone. That... You know, ultimate. You know, is gonna is gonna is gonna kill someone. You know, uh, as well. One of the things about her is that for the longest time, you know, we were debating on what the best way to mock her was. I remember there was a time when we had a fast ray, we had a healthy ray, and then we finally landed on this, you know, offensive ray, and she just whacks people upside the head, you know, and you know, just steals manners. And at the you know, at the very at the very best, you know, she'll steal banners at the you know from from any team out there, and she'll also hold if you're not careful. And good luck trying to beat a uh, preloaded ray at that point. Yeah, uh, you see, the speed's not important. I mean, we've got decent. And she's going to get decent health and not protection, but health she'll get. But our, our damage is eleven thousand eight hundred twenty-three um, for a ray. That's that's pretty gross. Um, and when she, especially at relic eight. Um, and we're going to, she's one of the top five characters that we definitely are going to put relic nine on. Um, she hits ridiculously hard. I mean, she starts, Oh boy thing. I mean, we've seen it time and time again, even against characters. We've seen her beat people have used JMK against her lose. They've used even the ones that see that it's been modded correctly lose, right? Because it's just, yes. it's a nightmare, right? She is an absolute goddamn nightmare. And it doesn't matter which team you use. And some teams are better than others, right? I mean, standard resistance team, you can beat that pretty easily with the, with the, with the C counter. But when you start adding these variants like we have, and 
she's almost damn near. She's she's good. You can still beat her with the GL. GLs beat GLs, right? Thing. There's no if, answer, buts. But yeah. she steals banners. Definitely, she's gonna get to give that, that person a crappy score, especially if they don't know what they're doing. Um, and she's gonna surprise you. And we've seen it time and time again. Sees go in there and they don't come out. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so now this variant I want to talk about here thing for this team is we are running cat. Have we lost our mind? Why are we not running cat with JMK? Uh, because we have a JMK counter for Lord Vader does not require cats. Um, and we also have a JMK uh, counter with, with uh, JMLF that we were using. So, you know, using cat with Kenobi is, you know, not necessarily the biggest concern that we have. Um, Cat with Ray is very annoying to deal with. You can ask anybody who has a shard mate who runs Ray and Cat, you will find out that even when you're running Kenobi against it, you can still get your ass handed to you because that's how good Cat, uh, Ray and Cat is, especially the lineup we're running right now. It's a very fast lineup. It's a very fast, hard, it's a very fast and hard hitting team. And then the reason we put JMK in there is so that, so that Kat can uh, throw Kenobi. back, you know, yeah. So we got yeah, Joe Kenobi so that she can throw her um, her turn meter over to him, and that makes her even faster. And she's able to get the reduce the cooldowns on her on our Annihilate much easier. Now you have an Annihilate from um, you got to deal with, and you have a whirlwind to deal with from Ray. Yeah. You know, worst case scenario, you get two tunes killed back to back, and that is the horrible horrible feeling yes it is now and we talked about her speed set on her um both ray so ray we, 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 oh, oh get it back in there ray ray um of course we talked about the offense i showed the offense she's nearly for us twelve thousand, just like eleven thousand eight hundred something so that's ray and then uh cat is speed so you want her fast as hell we've got ours in the 350 um if i'd hit that one circle thing i want to talk about it would have had her in the 360s but eh, anything above 350 is uh winning now kenobi's pretty standard uh you can go different variations we've got a health set on him he's a beefy boy thing i don't think we need to go into general kenobi's modding here too much i mean uh, i've got almost 100,000 protection 90,000 health again i need to slice these mods but as long as he's beefy he does what he does man yeah absolutely so not much of it, just GK. Let's so then move on. Now Finn, we're adding Finn and Poe in here. Let's talk about Finn first. And um, his speed I've got on him is pull up his stats. Now he is 329. Again, I've got two moths to slice here, so he'll be much faster when all is said and done. But uh, uh, Thing, uh, what, are, what are we doing putting Resistance Hero Finn in here? Yeah, Resistance Hero. I mean, Resistance Hero Finn and, and Poe. I mean, we'll get to him in a second. But he's, you know, he's fast and he hits hard. The first brothers... Don't get enough respect of how hard they hit. You know, they're not as fa uh, flashy as some of these other hard hitting tunes. They don't have any crazy stats and they work hand in hand. But my God, these guys hit hard. You know, I know we're not in the season of 3v3s, but man, in 3v3s, oh, yeah, they are very, very, very good, <laughs> you know, on their own. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, uh, he, he's great because he gives that turn meter flip, right? He's got the AOE. Yep. Um, and he gets he gets Poe going and those two together. And when you're talking about a team that's got Ray and Cat into it, right? And you've got it protected with Kenobi, who's who's a monster in himself as a tank. This gets really gross. So you've got Ahsoka and Kenobi with their their synergy, and then you've got and, and since GL Ray is resistance, you know that that Terminator and everything that he does, it really gets that team going. So you have to really be careful about uh resistance hero finn so you want him definitely fast i've got crit chance and speed on him um just so he crits when he hits best we can right poe i've got a speed set with health let's talk about resistance hero poe he does some nice stuff too he could he can uh remove uh um his big thing is he removes like a taunt if they've got a taunt on the team he can use his ability and get that off him and finn synergize they counterattack. ray will counterattack with him because they give that you know that buff right so talk about poe a little bit here yeah, so he does his little uh, inspired mechanic that he can put put back and forth, and then like Ranger said, as soon as they're inspired, all three of them, we're talking, you know, uh, the, the the Gucci brothers and Ray, they'll counter, and that's not fun. Once they have the three stacks and they counter, especially once Ray starts ramping up, those basics hit hard, you know, like you know, especially the later the match goes, and the more they ramp up their mastery, and the more they, they you know they do that. You bring in a, two, uh, a team that can AOE, and you don't you don't realize they have three stacks of Inspire, and they come charging in at you. 
that team is going to bend over because it is hurt, it, no matter who you are. Yeah. Um, and uh, Poe, he's also one of those guys that can uh, remove uh, buffs, you know, so if there's a taunt you need to get rid of, boom, it goes down. Someone, you know, has a, has a, a buff that, uh, that uh, needs to be dispelled, Poe just gets rid of that really quickly, you know, and just – he he himself hits really hard. It's not just Finn that hits hard. Poe also hits hard. So they are, you know, th- th- that little duo there is is phenomenal, and you know it. You know, obviously is able to give Ray inspired, which you know makes her counter, makes her be able to hit and ramp up as well. Yeah, I agree. Um, really, really good team. And as I said, we've used now. This is the variant that we're going off for defense. Now, we talked about Ray, especially if you get someone that uses Ray on offense or defense, you can kill Ray. But we usually go with our JML counter for Ray on that. Um, there's a, so there's a lot of variations of things that we can you can do. But Ray on defense is she's a nightmare, man. I mean, she is our she is our front wall line defense in the South, along with some really hard hard to get through teams in the South. Even if they do beat our Ray, and it does happen, right? Uh, thing they had to use something monstrous oh, to kill yeah. this, right? You know, um, and with the cat variant, it makes C really that much more difficult. Thane agrees, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> they was thinking, like, yeah, yeah, C does suck to use, yeah, go ahead. So, continue yeah, yeah. thing the thought C <laughs> poopy against cat ray, <laughs> yeah, no, it's the reason is because it's, it's a lot of offense and. You know, normally you don't bring a lot of t- a lot of uh, tunes uh, with C. Normally you just bring in Watt or armor or Watt and armor. Um, you know, but because this team hits so hard so quickly, um, C is not able to um, recover enough to get uh, to, to to get off. You know, so he normally ends up dying relatively quickly. Unless you bring in like a full five team, but then now you're hemorrhaging banners. Like like nobody's business. You're down now. You're down to like four, like into the forties of banners, you know, uh, for for GAC. And again, in this in these matches where you lose by one or two banners, missing out on twelve or fourteen banners, that's huge. You know. All right. So this is our thoughts on GL Ray, the queen of GAC defense. Uh, again, there's some videos we'll probably do later on. As we get closer to getting back into threes, then we've got a lot of badass variations. We use her in threes. She's even more destructive in threes. But we're talking about fives here and what we like for fives. <laughs> and you can use her for offense. Again, there's a lot of flexing that goes on with these teams, but we really love her on defense. Front wall team, deal with it. You can't, then we win. Um, so but let us know what you think. In the comments, leave your thoughts. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You know, all content creators say it, but it does support the channel. If you like this stuff and you like this kind of stuff, let us know. With that, we're going to call it done, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.